Hey guys, we're still talking about elections this week, and this book is called Duck for President. It's written by Doreen Crowen, and Betsy Luren is our illustrator. Duck for President. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is covered to, from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. He doesn't smell very good either. The animals have chores to do too. Pigs clean under the beds. Cows weed the garden. Sheep sweep the barn. Duck take out the trash, mow the lawn, and grind the coffee beans. At the end of each day, the pigs were covered in lint bunnies, the cows were covered in weeds, the sheep were covered in dust, and duck was covered in tiny bits of grass and espresso beans. Duck did not like chores. He didn't like picking the tiny bits of grass and espresso beans out of his feathers. Why is Farmer Brown in charge anyway, thought Duck. What we need is an election. He made a sign and hung it up in the barn. Farmer Brown must go. Farm election tomorrow. The next morning, Farmer Brown found a poster on his front door. Vote Duck for a kinder, kinder, gentler farm. Farmer Brown was furious. He ran to the barn and found animals registering to vote. Voter registration must live on the farm, show valid ID, and be at least this tall. The mice got together and protested the height requirement, so Duck crossed it off. On election day, the animals filled out a ballot and placed it in the box. The votes were counted and the results were posted on the barn wall. Farmer Brown 6, Duck 20. Farmer Brown demanded a recount. One sticky ballot was found stuck to the bottom of Pig. The new tally was Farmer Brown 6, Duck 21. The voters had spoken and Duck was officially in charge. Running a farm is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. Running a farm is no fun at all, thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on Duck's campaign for governor. Duck left Farmer Brown in charge and hit the campaign trail. He visited small town diners, he marched in parades, he went to town meetings, he gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. On election day, the voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the state. The votes were counted and the results were posted in the local paper. Mrs. Governor, what, 2,999 and 999 votes. Duck, 300,000. The governor demanded a recount. Two sticky ballots were found stuck to the bottom of a plate of pancakes. The new tally was Mrs. Governor 299,999, Duck 300,002. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running late a state is very hard work. At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in hairspray, ink stains, scotch tape, fingerprints, mayonnaise, and coffee stains. He had a very bad headache. Running a state is no fun at all, thought Duck. That night, Duck and his staff started working on the posters for his presidential election. Duck left his staff in charge and hit the campaign trail. He kissed babies in local di diners. He rode in parades. He gave speeches that only other ducks could understand. He even played the saxophone on a late night television show. On election day, voters filled out their ballots in booths all over the country. The votes were counted and the results were in. And CNN announced, Mr. President, 50,549,165. million. 500,046 and 170. The president demanded a recount. Ten sticky ballots were found to the bottom of the vice president. The new tally was Mr. President, 50,546,1061. And Duck defeats President, 50,546,180. The voters had spoken. Duck was officially in charge. Running a country is very hard work. 
At the end of each day, Duck was covered from head to toe in face powder, paper cuts, staples, security badges, secret service agents, and coffee stains. And he had a very bad headache. Running a country is no fun at all, thought Duck. Then he checked the Help Wanted ads. Duck needed no experience necessary, must be able to mow the lawn and grind coffee beans. Duck left the vice president in charge and headed back to the farm. At the end of each day, Farmer Brown is now covered head to toe in hay, horsehair, seeds, sprouts, feathers, filth, mud, muck, and coffee stains. And Duck is working on his autobiography.